shopping. What are the things you think about when choosing a product? Is it price? Ooh, ten ninety nine. Brand there? Oh, Popsy Max. Pretty packaging. Oh, that's lovely. Or nutritional value. Oh, salmon, my favourite. Have you ever <coughs> thought about the distance your food has to travel before it reaches your store? Did you know that many of the products you buy have travelled more of the world than most people? So while you're busy turning off the lights, riding your bike to work, petitioning for more wind farms, and lowering your thermostat, your food is out there racking up your carbon footprint for you. It might surprise you to learn that what we eat makes up to one third of total greenhouse emissions in the average Australian household and the distance it travels before it reaches us can be a big part of that. So what can we do? We think that all labels should be made to show the distance a product has travelled to reach the consumer. But in the meantime, shop at supermarkets less and choose farmers markets instead. Or we can try to live and eat more simply by choosing less processed foods and cooking our meals at home. Or you could even try growing veggies in your own backyard. It might seem like one person's effort is not going to make much of a difference but we have to start somewhere Take the first step to reduce your carbon footprint.